Hi, I'm Eric Reed with EricReedLovesKids.com. Today we have Dr. Holly Phillips, who's going to share some insight on mercury and what it may be doing to all of us. So, thanks for being here, Dr. Holly. So happy to be here, Erica. So, share your knowledge, your awareness on mercury. First of all, what is mercury? Well, you know what? Mercury is a metal. It's a normal part of our environment. But now we've polluted our environment so much that it's entered our food supply, specifically fish. And women need to be particularly aware of mercury, specifically pregnant women, women who want to become pregnant, women who are breastfeeding, and women who are mothers to young children. We're really the group that needs to pay the most attention to it. So when you say it's entering our food supply, how is mercury getting, say for instance, to our fish? Right. Well, because of farming practices, various manufacturing, coal burning, mercury is in our, both in our air, but even more so in our water supply, in our oceans. And fish eat and live in the ocean, and therefore they absorb the mercury. Some types of fish absorb more, more mercury than others, so that's why it's really important to choose the fish you have wisely. So because the fish are absorbing the mercury, whatever the fish is basically made of, and we're digesting it, we're getting it? Exactly. So fish get mercury from the ocean, particularly the larger fish, which eat, eat smaller fish, get more mercury because it becomes concentrated in their bodies. Then we eat the fish and our mercury levels can go up, and this can be dangerous. So if a parent wanted to give one of these fish that are high in mercury or low in mercury to their child, what age do you maybe want to hold off or? Right. Well, it, fish, I have to say, is one of the best things in our diet. I actually really encourage people to have fish because it's loaded with nutrients. It has one nutrient in particular called omega-3 fatty acid which is ironically, even though we're talking about things that are bad for our brain, omega-3 fatty acid is great for our brain. It's even been shown to prevent Alzheimer's disease. So you're a mother and you have young children younger than my age. Would you give them or do you give them any fish here? I do give them fish and I eat fish on a regular basis because I really try and follow the Mediterranean diet for my heart health. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mediterranean diets are pretty high in fish. So it's one of those things where you want to choose your fish and have it as much as you can, but only fish that won't expose you to as much mercury. So, so that's great that you can get your omegas from fish, but what about someone like me who cannot eat fish because I'm allergic, as well as I can't get it from my nuts? Are there other options out there for someone like me? Sure. You know, the leafy green vegetables also have omega-3s. Kale, collard, broccoli, uh, some of the oils, flax oil in particular, is a really good source as well. So you don't have to have fish to get your omega 3s, um, but they're an excellent source. Pregnant women or women who may want to become pregnant uh, should avoid this fish altogether. This is actually swordfish. It's, it's one of the highest mercury fish. This is Chilean sea bass. It's one of the higher mercury fish. It's also one we should have hardly ever. It's not as high as our swordfish here, but it's something where if you are pregnant or you're planning to become pregnant, the FDA recommends that you don't have it more than three times a month. Okay. So some of the lower mercury fish, which is much more safe for women and young children to eat, um, are what we have here. We, we have tilapia, we have the flounder, uh, but also fresh trout, perch, shrimp. These are all low mercury fish. You can actually get the entire list right online. Just look under the FDA and just type in mercury levels in fish. Okay, and the great. whole thing comes up. There are about 15 fish that are considered pretty safe to eat. Uh, so this is one of the things that I give my kids, tilapia. I give, I give it to them about a couple times a week. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. You heard it first from Dr. Holly Phillips. I'm Erica Reed with EricaReedLovesKids.com. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next episode. Remember, we're all moms striving to do better. Toodles!